First, I need to point out how I monitor cryptocurrency. I set up a spreadsheet on Google Drive, and I kept track of the price of a few types of cryptocurrency that I was interested in. I continued to keep track of those tokens each day, recording each day the price of each. It is good to know what the percentage is, but I don't have to keep track of that, and if I want to see the percentages, I can easily go onto Coinbase and see them. Each day, after recording the price of each token, I compare each price with the first day that I started keeping record of the prices, and then determine if it had fallen in price or reason. I do the same with the price the day before, I compare the day before price, with the price that I recorded that day, usually recording the price as close to midnight as I could. After recording the first week of prices for the cryptocurrency that I was interested in, I began another spreadsheet for a weekly record, and another one for a monthly record. After a week of recording each day's prices, how much each day dropped or rose in price each day, and from the day I first started monitoring the prices, I transferred the final numbers onto the weekly spreadsheet, and began to record the difference after a week had passed. This I am going to continue for each month, just as I have done for the weekly changes, in order to keep a better record according to daily, weekly, and monthly changes in prices. I started watching the price changes with Bitcoin, Ethereum, the Graph, and AMP, when I set up the spreadsheet on Google Drive. After a week went by, I started watching the prices for Cardano, Dogecoin, Polkadot, and Shiba Inu too. After reading some of the blogs, I learned that it was important to buy a small amount in the cryptocurrency that I was interested in, and add the same amount each month, in order to handle the volatility in price changes throughout the days, weeks, and months. So, I invested $1 into Cardano on the first day of July, after monitoring the price changes a couple of weeks. I already had a small amount still invested in the AMP, which I had earned from doing the learn to earn presentations on Coinbase. Instead of taking all of that out of the AMP, I left about 93 cents in, in order to see if it made a profit, as time went by. I also set up a calculator on one of the sheets that I created for monitoring cryptocurrency on Google Drive and used that to do the complicated math that I would have to do. This was involving prices, when they fell or rose throughout the day, week, and months to come. 